Hey, mate. No, mate. No, mate. What the fuck you looking at? Huh? Fuck you looking at, bitch. Yo, what's going on, guys? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Broadway, back again with another video, man. And today, I'm really upset. I really am. Let me tell you why. I plan on shooting a video today outside, but it's raining. But anyways, so I had to switch up my plans and do something different today, you know? So today, y'all just gonna take a ride with me. I'm about to go pick up some smoky, smoke, smoky, smoke. You know what I'm saying? Gotta have that gas. You know what I mean? But uh, I'm gonna go pick up some, uh, some gas right quick. And I guess y'all can ride along with me, talk to me, chop it up with me, I guess, you know. Uh, this wasn't what I had planned today, but, you know, hey, can't control everything, right? Can't control everything. So, with that being said, bro, you know what I'm saying? Let's go pick up this gas. Let's go. Ah! Okay. Alright, bro. Yo, am I the only person that hate when it rain, bro? Like, I'm not that type of person that I always be like, oh god, I love when it rains so I can just lay down to sleep all fucking day. Nah, that's not me, man. That's not me. You feel me? But I do want to talk to y'all today, man. You know what I'm saying? And today, I want to talk to y'all about owning up to your mistakes. You know, we all not perfect, man. Take this shit off, bro. This shit ain't working. All right, so we all are not perfect, man. You feel me? Um, we all go through things. Now, before, hold on, wait. Before I really get into all that, man, let me know down below in the comments, man, if you guys have seen that All-American series on Netflix. If you have, I got a series that I'm gonna start, I guess. But I really wanna talk about this series specifically. I might start doing movies in general. Like, I'll watch them and then come on here and talk to y'all about them and give y'all, like, my opinion. But All-American... It's a fire ass show, bro. If you haven't seen it yet, I recommend you go watch it right now, bro. Like, whatever you doing right now, like, hey, don't turn off my video, though. Don't turn off my video. Shit, keep watching me until the end. If you need something to watch on Netflix, man, and you haven't seen All American, make sure you go watch that right now, man. You know what I'm saying? That show, all around gets an A+, plus, a 10 out of 10, bro. The characters are dope. The the plot is dope. The story, I like, all oh, that's dope, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't know if y'all know, but I'm an actor as well, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, when I come across movies or TV shows that's really, really good, like really, really good, it just makes me feel some type of way inside. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I really can't explain it. Like. One thing I can say for sure, I can see myself in All-American. So if any of the producers, cast and director, if y'all watching my video right now, hey man, cast me. I'm telling you, season three, baby. Hey, put me in there. Put me in there. But let's get back to the real shit, man. Let's talk about this real shit. You feel me? So I want to talk to y'all about something that happened to me in my life. Like, this quarantine, bro, I don't know about y'all, bro, but this quarantine has helped me out so much, bro. I've gained so much clarity. My relationship with God has gotten even closer. Like, it's really hard to explain all the knowledge and wisdom and everything I didn't gain in this quarantine. It's like, I needed this. You know what I'm saying? So, Let's jump right into it, man. So, I want today. I want to talk about you are who you hang with. You know what I'm saying? Now, for some of y'all, I want y'all. Do I need to say it again? Cause I will. Okay, cool. I say it again. 
You are who you hang with. So look at your top crew, your circle, your your niggas, your homies, your girls, your bitches, like whatever. Whoever watching this video, male or female. If your top five friends, what what wherever they at in life, nine times out of ten, that's where you at. So if your top five friends ain't really got shit going on in life, you're not gonna have nothing going on in life. If your top five friends all work out together, well not together, but they all work out, nine times out of ten, you gonna work out. You are who you hang around. And I had this, I had this epiphany last night. I don't know if I wanna say it's an epiphany, but like, so last night I was chilling and I realized my senior year, I had two groups of friends, you know? And one set of friends, they kind of always stayed in, not in trouble, but they really didn't have no goals or no ambition in life. You know what I mean? They really was just on some, yeah, I wake up every day, you know what I'm saying? I go to work and I come home. You know what I mean? No type of purpose. You know what I mean? And if y'all been watching me, for all the people that's been here since day one, y'all know the type of person I am. And for the ones that just got here, bro, y'all know, y'all know how I am. Well, y'all don't know who I, I mean, how I am. Excuse me on that. So with that being said, bro, I want y'all to understand something, man. You know you're not really supposed to compare yourself or your life to other people's and things of that nature. But I realized last night, and I really don't talk to them like that no more. It's been a long time, bro. I graduated in 2011, bro. You feel me? No, I'm not Oh, When I look at the two sets of the two sets of people that I literally was like, hold on, bro. 12, 12 just got behind me, you feel me? So, I'm gonna go ahead and make this little quick turn, right quick. You feel me? I don't know, bro. 12 bad out here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I stay in the birds, birds. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Now this man wanna pull up. That's so crazy. Come on, man. Come on by, bro. Come on by, bro. Come on by, bro. You feel me? Look at that, bro. You see them folks right there? That's crazy. So, yeah. Anyways, bro. So I'm back on the road. I had to dip them folks for a second. I kind of lost my train of thought. But yeah, so I checked to see how, I, you know, they were doing. And just by the looks now, now, cause y'all know we live in a time where, you know, Instagram and trying to make everything look good. And, you know, we just live in those type of times. You know what I mean? Everybody wants to look good. They want their life to look good. If you, if you grew up in a different type of environment, you still trying to make it look good, which ain't nothing wrong with that. You feel me? Ain't nothing wrong with that. But, so I was checking, you know what I'm saying? See how they doing. And, you know, they both got their own cribs. They both driving the cars they want to drive. Uh... They traveling a lot. They take care of their health. But not only are they doing all of that, they're pursuing their dreams and they're focused on their careers. Now, the friends that I chose was the total opposite. I chose 
the friends that not saying they didn't have dreams they wasn't going after their dreams they wasn't pursuing their goals they wasn't waking up every single day trying to be their greatest version you know they don't want to be great so when i look at that to me that just shows me back then god was showing me options you can choose this lifestyle or you can choose this lifestyle and even to this day y'all still to this day bro those friends i chose we don't travel together we don't go out together have a good time a lot of them don't really have goals they're not goal oriented they they're not driven by greatness they're not driven by God's purpose so over these years y'all I done been around this same group of people and I've always and I put this on everything and I've always been the one and still am pursuing my dreams being goal oriented want to be great striving for the best and it's like sometimes those guys look at me like I'm crazy all right sorry about that guys uh, camera died on me but uh well it didn't down me uh, I gotta get another memory card but yeah so I'm the only one bro and it truly feels like that bro you know I don't me and them don't talk about vulnerable things as far as like you know when you your friends you're supposed to be truthfully honest with your friends bro they're your friends you know what I'm saying like your friends supposed to know you. You know what I'm saying? They supposed to know you. And I just personally feel like throughout the years, those guys just really didn't understand me. So I've come to the conclusion, bro. You know how they say everybody can't come with you to the top, bro. Everybody not meant to. You know what I mean? And I just want better for my life, bro. And the reason why I'm making this video, bro, is not to bash any of them. Cause I'm still, I still talk to them to this day. I still communicate with them. You know what I'm saying? But I just want better for me, man. I want better. I want more. I want more out of life. And I just feel like I cannot grow around them, bro. I just can't, bro. I met these guys back in school, bro. Middle school and high school, family. And I still feel like I've learned so much, but I'm still in the same position, bro. You ever felt like you was learning and gaining so much knowledge and wisdom and you just, you know what I'm saying, just grinding to be the best? You know what I'm saying? And next thing you know it's just like damn i just they be fucking up my my vibe my energy bro you know what i'm saying like i'm tired of holding back how i feel bro you know what i'm saying like this y'all about to learn i got a lot of gems i'm about to get ready to drop for y'all man because it's just certain shit man now bro that i just don't give a fuck about no more bro and i'm not saying that in a sense as to where I'm giving up on life, but I got to get back to doing what's best for me. You know what I'm saying? And what's best for me is the life that I want to live. And another thing I've always wondered, bro, like during spring break and shit like that, like, you know how you see friends go out and travel and have a good time and, you know, just making memories and living a good life, bro. You know what I'm saying? They go another 12 right there, you feel me? But... Like, I just, 
you are who you hang around, bro. And them guys are not what I want to be in life. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes we get caught up in trying to hold on to people, bro, because we've been knowing them all our childhood, all our life. But you got to let folks go, bro. You got to let that go. You know what I mean? So I'm making this video today for people that are still around people that's not helping them grow. That's why I'm making this video today. Man, it is raining so hard out here, bro. Shit. I realized I forgot who I was. I forgot. I, me, me. I forgot who I was, bro. Because the support system that I had around me, the people I had around me, didn't see the vision, wasn't supportive of the vision. And it's not their fault. Quit blaming them. That's what I used to do. Quit blaming people for not seeing your vision, bro. Quit blaming people for the, not wanting to put in the same type of work you want to put in. Quit blaming them. You know what you got to do? You got to go get around people that do want to help you. That do want to help you reach your dreams. That's what you have to do. Quit blaming people that's around you. They don't never help me do this. They don't never help me do that. They not into that shit. You got to get around people that's in the same, into the same things you into. You have to get around people that's like-minded like you. That's the only way you're gonna grow consistently. You can grow with a bad circle around you, but you're not gonna get far. Every successful person that I didn't read on, did research on, listen to, has always had a successful team. And if they didn't have one on the come up, they got one right now. You feel me? So, I'm gonna end this video just like this, bro. If you want more out of life, if you a person that's like me, that's goal-oriented, believes in God, believes in his purpose, and knows that he's destined for greatness, then it's certain things you gotta do. It's sacrifices you gotta make. And that's one of them. You feel me? That's one of them. So, take what resonates in this video. Hopefully, this video is going to help you guys. You know what? I know it's going to help you guys. You know what I'm saying? Because it helped me. And what I'm starting to realize is... My purpose in life has always been to inspire and motivate people all around the world. That's always been my purpose. My passions and my dreams are music, acting, the arts, the entertainment industry. But that's not all. I can do a lot. I have a lot of gifts and talents. And what you have to do is you have to figure out what your gifts and talents are. And once you figure that out, you can go on to the next step. And that next step is figuring out how to use your gifts and talents. So yeah, man, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button for me, man. But yeah, make sure y'all let me know down below in the comments. What kind of friends y'all got? What's your circle looking like? If your circle don't help push you to get to your goals and dreams every day, not just when they feel like it, every day. You need a new circle, man. And it's not to say that your old circle is bad. But 
you have to understand in life, it's all about you, bro. It's all about you. You came in this world on your own, you're going to go out by yourself. And that plays a big part in people's success. Think about it, man. Out of all this time y'all been watching me, have y'all ever seen my circle? Have y'all ever seen me do a bunch of videos with a with people that y'all seen on the regular? That y'all knew like, oh, that's his nigga. That's his niggas in them right there. That's his homeboy. Them his partners. Them his brothers. Have y'all seen me? No. Maybe a couple videos, but I tried it. It didn't work. And all this time I've been wasting when all I have to do is just get a better circle. So, yeah, that's it, man. I'm going to leave y'all with that. Make sure y'all go watch some more of my videos on my channel, man. I'll see y'all in my next video, bro. I'm out. Peace. I always knew I had this dream inside of me. I'm tired of working nine to five for salary. I'm running towards my dreams. I'm burning calories. I just want to show y'all what's inside of me. On this road, you just got to have a plan. I've been grinding so long, I just need a chance. I can't see you, I got my car. These flexes are like I'm.